Now we deal with maximum spacing of reinforcement. The purpose of having the maximum spacing is in order to control cracking. As you all know, the main cause of cracking is due to loading or due to the shrinkage or thermal cracks. In order to control this crack, we normally ensure the reinforcement bar provided is not less than the minimum air amount of reinforcement and also we make sure the maximum clear spacing between the main reinforcement bar does not exceed the limit. The whole purpose of it is in order to ensure the crack is not greater than 0.3 mm. The principle behind this uh, calculating the maximum spacing of reinforcement is actually due to the stress level in the reinforcement. When you have higher level of stress in reinforcement, then your, the allowable spacing will reduce. As higher stress will lead to higher chances of generating crack on the concrete surface. So we have to refer to table 7.3n in the Euro code, which is this table. And the first column refer to the stress, which is the equations that given just now and you will have a maximum uh, cracking the mix which is 0 0.4 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 so how do we know which category that we are referring to a very simple rule of thumb is if your concrete is not that critical to the corrosions especially that means in the category of SO and XC1, then you may choose to use 0 0.4. But for most of the cases, you will have to use your crack limit to be 0 0.3 mm in order to prevent the water to penetrate into the concrete. And if you are using the pre-stress elements, so you will have to choose the crack limits to be 0 0.2 okay so where do we get this is actually based on table 7.1 n from eurocode here okay so here is the category of the exposure class and in most of the cases we are using xc2 and xc3 and then it is meant for reinforced concrete member so we can always choose to use 0.3 with so by looking at here that means we are looking at this column and this column as for these equations FYK referring to the nominal yield strength of the bar that means it's the grade of the bar 1.15 if the fact is the factor of safety of the reinforcement bar and 1.35 and 1.5 is referring to the ultimate limit state of the load conditions and this data is actually referring to the distributions factors the, the ratio of moment distributions okay so in normal circumstances we always use a ratio this s 1.0 so you're not that worried about it and this part gk plus 0.3 qk is actually referring to a quasi permanent load so what is quasi permanent load and why is there different ratio okay so let me try to solve this one by one so quasi permanent load is referring to a variable actions which is nearly always there that means in most of the cases you can nearly guarantee that these variable loads is nearly always there then we consider this as a quasi permanent load and you also encounter another term like characteristic 
value characteristic value that means is actually referring to normally referring to something like FYK characteristic strength so that means that is referring to 95% guarantee of uh, a situations okay so in another word we are talking about this is the most critical situations under the variable actions and this is the least critical but it's more or less guarantee is going to be always there then that refer to the quasi permanent loop then the next question is how do we get the ratio is the simple rule of thumb is is for the office it will be one and 0 0.3 that means 1 gk 0 0.3 qk for shop houses it will be 1 gk and 0 0.6 qk and for storage purpose it will be 1.0 and 0 0.8 so where do we get this number we get this number from a table and this table is actually referring to annex and just happened that uh, annex here there is a ratio here so 0 0.3 is for the normal usage office area and 0 0.6 is for category C and D shopping area for storage area is 0 0.8 and for other purposes you can refer to this okay and then this this equations you will use it to generate a stress value in the in in the table and let's say now we we obtain the stress is 280 so we are looking at this row and we are looking at this column then the maximum bar spacing will be limited by 150 mm let's say now if you calculate the equation here you find your stress is 250 which is somewhere in between here okay so you can always go for interpolations or you can even go for a more critical situations and what you need to know here is this table is only valid for beam or for the slab which have the thickness of more than 200 mm and this spacing rule is not applicable for the slab less than 200 mm thickness as for the slab with less than 200 mm thickness you will refer to this table okay for the slab less than 200 mm thickness for your longitudinal reinforcement bar the spacing will be limited by three times the slack depth or 400 and for the secondary reinforcement bar that means it's actually meant to control cracking and it should be less than 3.5 times the slack depth and 450 if the slack is uh, subjected to concentrated load or subjected to high uh, moment load then you will have to limit spacing accordingly